we have uh, chapter 11, Manufacturing and Services Technology, and uh, we're continuing our discussion in the organization uh, theory class. Uh, this uh, chapter talks about uh, services, manufacturing, technologies. And it says here technology refers to the work, processes, techniques, machines, actions used to transform inputs to outputs. Every company, whether you're a service or a manufacturer, you have to have some sort of a technology. You guys know what's technology? Not necessarily just even computer systems. Technology, any tools, any uh, technique that you use to transform your inputs to your outputs, right? For example, uh, maybe you're, uh, maybe if you're a, uh, you know, if you go to any service provider, they probably have a tools, right? Uh, you know, if you bring a plumber to your home to fix something, you need to check that they have tools, right? If a plumber comes with no tools, can that work? No, it doesn't work, right? You have to have the tools. So what are the tools that you are, uh, your business uses in order to transform your inputs to your outputs? Number two, we're talking about technology influences organizational structure. Remember, uh, for example, if your company is now using more computer technology, remember that small supermarket that you didn't use to have a computer system? Now they have a computer system. What happens? They have to be able to use the computers. Uh, they need to have maybe training for their employees. They need to uh, maintain uh, some sort of a computer department. Maybe have a network administrator, uh, someone is specialized in making the system works and so on. So this is going to affect your organization structure. Number three, core technologies is the work process that directly relates to the organization mission. So, uh, so what type of, remember your mission statement? For example, remember Google, their mission statement is to organize the world information. Then they have to have their Google search engine, right? Uh, remember that uh, place where it says, uh, you know, we want people to have the best shopping experience, right? Now, these people, they have to have the technologies uh, that makes people uh, enjoy shopping, right? Remember CACBank, you know, in their mission, they want to uh, provide leading services. Then they need to have some leading technology uh, that is going to help them provide leading services. That's why they have a mobile application for payment systems, okay? And there are also some non-core technology. There are some technology that's not used for your core business, for some of the other side businesses, okay? Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, if you look at this raw material, uh, this is a product and service, and here you've got the core work process. Do you know what we mean by core work process? What you actually do, right? Remember the tailor? They take some piece of cloth, they work on it, maybe with a sewing machine, and they've got also the scissor, uh, the scissor which is uh, another tool, in order to make cloth or uh, make a, a sweater. Now. Here uh, is the input, output, and then there is a core process. And then there are some non-core departments like human resource, hire people, accounting people, uh, R&D or marketing. All of these people are non-core. Are you guys okay with this? How many people are following? Great. 